Hello folks, Samsung's next flagship smartphone launch will be that of the Galaxy S23 series, and there have been plenty of rumors and leaks over the last couple of months that have given us a good picture of what to expect. We've seen the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra in leaked renders before, and now pictures of what are reportedly dummy units of the three phones have been published online. These pictures reaffirm that Samsung is ditching the contour cut design in which the rear camera housing connects to the phone's metal frame for the Galaxy S23. S23 and S23 Plus and bringing it more in line with the Galaxy S23 Ultra and many other Samsung phones including budget ones like the Galaxy A32 launched in the last year or so. The camera lenses stick out individually at the back and some might say that cheapens the design a little. The Galaxy S23 Ultra meanwhile looks more or less the same as the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is to be expected. The four cameras can be speculated to be a 12 megapixels rear ultrawide camera, the main 200 megapixels rear wide angle camera. Camera, the first telephoto 10 megapixels camera with 3x zoom and the second telephoto 10 megapixels camera with 10x zoom. The Galaxy S23 Ultra specifications were recently leaked as well, that revealed for it to have a 6.8 inch screen, Snapdragon Agent 2 CPU, 12 GB RAM, up to 1 TB of storage and 5000 mAh battery capacity. However, the design of these dummy units differs from the one we saw in leaked renders, as they show the SIM slot on the side instead of the bottom. That said, since the Galaxy the S23 series hasn't been officially launched, no one can say for certain which of the leaks are accurate and which aren't. But as we move closer towards 2023, all our doubts are likely to be addressed in the coming weeks as more leaks hit the internet. The Galaxy S23 series is expected to be announced in early February, with sales rumored to begin on February 17th. Speaking of the SIM slot, as you know companies often imitate one another, and this is actually a good thing for consumers, cause technology matures quickly and we get a better overall handset as a result. Samsung and Apple are two largest phone manufacturers and direct competitors, so if Samsung develops a feature, Apple will copy it later, even if it takes years. Similarly, Samsung follows suit. They don't, however, take as long as Apple, it usually takes about a year or two. And it's perfectly fine for us if they mimic the good things. However, Samsung has a history of stealing bad ideas from Apple. A headphone jack, no charger included are just a few examples. And as you probably know, Apple decided to remove the SIM card slot entirely in the US with the iPhone 14, so it's kind of Apple was fixing something that wasn't even broken, not to mention that it makes travel less convenient. Fortunately, Samsung won't do the same stupid thing. According to Greg from Gregless TV and his sources, Samsung will continue to use SIM card slots on all Galaxy S23 units, which is really good news. Last month, during its q earnings call, Qualcomm basically confirmed that the Galaxy S23 phones will use the Snapdragon Agent 2 globally. All three upcoming phones, S23, S23 Plus and S23 Ultra already passed through Geekbench exclusively with the Snapdragon Agent 2. But the Alec believes that Samsung has not given up on its in-house chipset plans. For years, Samsung outsourced its Exynos chipset production to Samsung System LSI, a separate entity from the Samsung MS division. According to the new report, Samsung is now forming a new chipset AP development team within the mobile division. The department will be led by Executive Vice President Choi Won Jun, who joined Samsung back in 2016 from Qualcomm. There have been rumors that Samsung will aim to deliver its first exclusive custom chipset to the Galaxy S series in 2025, with no plans to launch new Exynos flagship chipsets in 2023 and 2024. In theory, it makes perfectly sense to use the capability you have, but how many times have we already seen the restart of the Exynos? In any case, it would be better for us consumers that the Exynos be competitive. So I hope one day it will be. Guys, thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one, good luck to all!